Why did you not tell anyone this before? Oh, it's a long story. But then I suggest we have a refill. <laughs> My mother raised me on a diet of rice pudding, God, and guilt trips. There was only one way to live a life and anything else would not be tolerated. <laughs> Sounds remarkably like my mother. <laughs> Back then, there was no representation, nobody to say, hey, what you're going through is perfectly normal, you're not a freak, you're not evil. You're not on your own. I imagine that must have been pretty scary. It was. So I took that part of me, put it in a box, buried it deep in the back of my mind. Did what every other girl my age was doing, got married, had a baby, lived a perfectly respectable life. Can't have been easy. Mm. You bury something deep enough, it becomes the norm. Never quite went away, though. This little neglected part of me that I kept hidden from the world. Until now. <laughs> when Barry died, I suddenly had all this time on my hands to think about who I really was, what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. Was there any point in coming out now? But then... I met the woman who would... change my life. Forever. What was her name? Louise. Eleanor Harrison. The wittiest, kindest, best person I have ever met. We were inseparable, even a bit of a double act. Then one day, after years of the most extraordinary friendship, I realised that I was completely in love with her. Did you tell her? Oh, I wanted to. But I was worried I would scare her off. I dithered for months. And I still felt this ridiculous guilt. I, I knew what we had was real and that she felt the same. We were just too afraid to say it. So I decided to bite the bullet and tell her. And by then, we were well into lockdown and it wasn't the sort of conversation you could have on the phone or, or through a window. And then she fell ill and was taken into hospital and, and I never saw her again. She died alone on a COVID ward. She never knew how much she was loved. I am so, so sorry. I never even got the chance to say goodbye. Well, Louise sounded like a remarkable woman. Oh, she was. And I should be telling the world about her and how wonderful she was, but instead I've hidden my love like a guilty little secret, like it's something to be ashamed of. She deserves better. Well, it's not a secret anymore.